welcome episode 2 benefit and disadvantage of globalization as globalization is imperfect and it's various stages of implementation it is hard to make a universal claim about its benefits however some of the potential benefits of globalization to economies including increased choice no individual country could produce the sheer variety of goods that can be produced globally through globalization consumers in one country can be can have access to goods and services that they would never otherwise have access to higher quality goods as each nation concentrates its own specialty industries there is far less reinventing the wheel for example every country does not need to waste its scarce resources producing its own version of these smartphones when it is when one can be imported from a country that specializes in this product the presence of increased competition in countries economy from foreign companies means more efficient market and lower prices for consumers supplies of goods and services need to keep their prices low to stay competitive as globalization provides companies with a much bigger effective market in which to sell their goods they can scale up their production as the level of production increases the margin of each good or services provided can increase on their fixed cost remain the same or become incrementally smaller capital is able to flow into developing economies providing significant form of finance that businesses in the economy would not otherwise have access to By allowing individual workers to move to other countries, the global economy can better match supply and demand. Countries that are excellent in educating certain professionals in dynamic sectors like project management and farming can export those professionals to other countries which do not have the same specialty. For example, New Zealand must import a significant number of skilled agriculture workers every year to harvest its crops. Countries that have positive trade relationships with each other have an incentive not to get into conflict. On a global scale, this should reduce the likelihood of armed conflict between countries. Putting aside the possible benefit of globalization for individual economy, economies and the world economy as a whole, By outsourcing certain functions such as payroll and HR to countries where this can be provided at low cost, an international enterprise can increase its overall profit, profit, profitability. By globalization doesn't, but globalization doesn't just mean outsourcing, setting up separate level entities such as foreign subsidies, branches or using global PO solution can be effective mechanism for setting up more cost-effective business locations. If the company struggles to find the right talent in their own country, the advantage of globalization is that you may be able to source workers in another country where there is significant capability in that area. You may have identified specific countries where there are an opportunity to corner the market with your product or services. Moving into that market can be important growth opportunity for your business. Individual countries are vulnerable to economic events and fluctuations specific to that country. An advantage of globalization and expanding into multiple countries is that an enterprise can spread this risk and ensure that they don't place all the eggs in the same basket. Potential disadvantage of globalization, let's look into. While there are some clear benefit of globalization, there may be costs associated with this for individual economic economies, depending on how much it is implemented. Some of these challenges or disadvantages of globalization that have been identified include impossible monopolization of multinational companies 
large enterprises from developed countries may move into smaller developing nations and take over the market. This place, their specialization and efficiency in providing particular goods and services may mean that local producers in a developing country are knocked out of the market. If a country is no longer comparative in the production of the particular goods, this may mean that its production rapidly moves offshore and workers are left unemployed. While it may be possible to retrain these staff and deploy them into more efficient market, this lack can take years, resulting in significant rise in unemployment and inequality. Individual countries must become dependent on other nations for this supply chain. If there is disruption of this chain, they may no longer be able to produce their goods. Thank you.